Good afternoon guys, it's Rob again and I'm back out on another walk. This time I am staying local again. Um, they're going to be local for a bit because I have just moved back to York after two years living in Leeds and I'm sort of just settling in again. But today, because it's such a nice day, just at the end of the summer, the sun has finally shown its face after about a month of crap weather. So I've come out for a bit of a walk today and it's a walk I've done before. I did it earlier in the year when we were on lockdown because I was on lockdown here, even though I was living in Leeds. Um, it's a walk which I've got here on the OS map and it's from York city centre pretty much up the river Foss north towards Haxby and a place called Wigington and you can take in a couple of historic churches on the way and I thought I'd bring you along with me so I'll show you on the map. So the route I'm deciding to take is out I'll up the river Foss out from York city centre but I'm going to begin somewhere around here carry on up here and when I'm actually recording this right now I'm actually I've gone up here and I'm here in New Earswick which is a really really interesting um, his historic modern village built specifically for the workers of the Roundtree factory which is here um, with Nestle next to it. So I'm here at the moment and I would show you some of the history and the buildings of New Earswick but I'm going to keep going up the river Foss on the Foss Walk and go to here the Church of All Saints at Huntington and then I'm actually going to cut through these fields here and go up to Haxby through these lane through this lane here and then go along the, the station road at Haxby and go up to the church at Wigington which is somewhere up here. <clears throat> On the way back I'm going to come back down the Foss Walk and do the entire route. It's walkable all the way up, you can, go, you can go all the way up there into North York, into further North Yorkshire near Crake and up there. Um, but on the way back, yeah, I'm going to come all the way back down here and it'll be a really nice pleasant walk. But because I want to take in this church here and do some sketching, um, I'm going to skip New Earswick, make the best of the good weather, do some drawing around here and then go up to Haxby and back again. So as it turns out, the way I've just come through this amazing belt of grassland which hugs the River Foss as it bends between New Earswick and Huntington is just this, the most beautiful little strip of land that I didn't know you could go through last time. And I knew you could go down this little bit, which is this little, um, little stretch of land just before you do get into Huntington, just very close to the church when you get in as well. But I didn't know you could go that way, so this has blown my mind already. Huntington is a small village three miles north of York, one of a handful of villages which hugs the river Foss as it goes north. The village once lay in the forest of Galtres, and land here was owned by the monks of St Mary's Abbey. In 1874, the nave and the tower of the former medieval church of All Saints was rebuilt. Today, the only medieval work that survives is the 15th century chancel. However, on the south side, the westernmost bay with its surrounding wall is a modern restoration. Haxby is another small village four miles north of York which also once lay in the forest of Galtres. Today the village has much more modern town housing. It is not certain at what date a chapel at Haxby came into existence and its early record is obscure. The Church of St Mary was entirely rebuilt in 1878 and is today an aisleless building consisting of a nave and a chancel in the style of the 13th century. 
The nave was enlarged by the addition of three bays in 1911. However, if you walk round to the church's north side, you can see an exterior door to the vestry, or what I think is the vestry, which has some suspect medieval masonry. Is some of this architectural stonework the remains of a former medieval door at the chapel? It could well be. So that was St Nicholas's Church in Wigington at the very end of my walk today. I was just shooting a little video clip just outside the locked uh, north door, um, just explaining the fact that the church is normally open and I have been inside. It's open more than the other two at Haxby and <coughs> Huntington. Just as I was filming that though, one of the Benefice clergy came by and she, and she gave me the opening times for all of the churches in the Benefice. And they are open quite often, so that's good. So if, if only I'd have known that before today's walk, I could have done a more substantial video and shown you inside of all of them. But hey, there's another reason for me to return. Anyway, thanks guys, thanks for joining me and see you in another 